Hey there, what's up? I got a package today I wanted to share with you from sunny Buffalo, New York. Inside there was a nice letter and some good stuff. This is Dear Rick and Kathy. Greetings from warm and balmy Buffalo. Ooh, 29 degrees right now in Pennsylvania. Just wanted you to know that they thoroughly enjoy our videos and they have their son to thank. And look, Elliot. We found your channel years ago when we stumbled upon the video of you driving your tractor home from the store. <laughs> that was fun. Our son Elliot loved it. We watch your channel for updates weekly and we're always in for a surprise when we see something new. And they also subscribe to your channel, Kathy. And please enjoy these buffalo staples. Let me put Elliot back here while I cook. Maybe you'll see him in future videos. Can you see him back there? He looks like a good boy, huh? Gotta be good if he likes these buffalo hot dogs. <laughs> and he likes John Deere's coming down the road. Mm. So please enjoy these buffalo staples. I'm sure you and Kathy can put them to good use. It's always grilling season, right? Yeah. I was thinking about firing up my grill, but it's a little cold, so I'm gonna cook them on this induction burner for supper tonight. Yeah, and there's it says encloses a picture of Elliot. <laughs> we have him to thank. Hope you have a wonderful holiday, you too. All right, Happy New Year. Jim, Katie, and Elliot. P.S. Elliot wants you to do another bacon basketball video. Remember that? That was a bacon wrapped cheeseburger, I think. I'll put a link at the end or in the description there. Or right there. That was good. I should make another one of them. I will. Okay, so, so look what we got here. Solins. I hope I'm saying that right. Since 1869. Smokehouse hot dogs. Old fashioned. From Buffalo, New York, right there on the bottom. Then we got Ted's Hot Dogs Famous Hot Sauce. And I read something here. Might need my eyeball for this one. Ted Larios came from Greece and opened his first hot dog stand in Buffalo, New York, over 85 years ago. He brought with him a secret family recipe. Ooh, Ted's Famous Hot Chili Sauce. A secret he passed on to his son, Spiro and Peter. Oh, since 1927. So I'm going to try that one, hot dog. That's from Buffalo. And then we got some good mustard. Weber's, since 1922, horseradish prepared mustard from Buffalo. A Buffalo staple. That's going to be good. I'm going to try one of each. And maybe one with both on. I don't know. This is not ketchup. It's hot dog, famous hot sauce, okay? Let me fire up this induction burner over here. And I'm going to make myself three hot dogs, because I ain't that hungry. <laughs> but they're long ones. They look like about seven inches long. That's going to last a while. When it gets a little warmer, I'm going to go out on the grill a couple days, maybe. Let me start cooking these now. Three big buffalo hot dogs for me. On an induction cooktop. <laughs> you can hear it. You don't see some sizzling. Huh? Give them a couple minutes. I had that up on 420 something, but I turned it down. Look, ooh, getting grilled. Sometimes I put a slit in them. You ever do that? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't really like them though. Look, roll them around. This will be good outside on a charcoal or propane. Sometimes I cut these before I pull them on. They're gonna be good either way. Can't wait. Let me open up my sauce. Let me open up my sauces. Mmm. Oh, look at them. They ain't rippers, but they're grillers. I like them like that. Got my buns ready. Come on over. Want them done a little more? A little less? It's okay. Everybody likes their hot dogs a different way. Mmm. But I like them. There we go. It don't matter how we cook them. We can cook them on a stick and a fire in the woods, huh? We can set them on our engine in some foil. <laughs> Drive down the road and make some hot dogs. They did that too, didn't you? Oh, these are good. I turned up the heat, see? That's fun. All right. I'm going to picnic inside tonight.
kind of buns are these? They're white wheat. White wheat? They look like vegetable buns. Mm -hmm. White wheat? Well, oh, like wheat. Wheat. White wheat bread. See what I'm talking about, people? What kind of buns are them? They're like a whole wheat, you mean? Like healthy? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll make them better. Mmm, they sure smell good. I'm gonna have the horseradish mustard on one. One. This one. Can you see? Oh, make it fancy. Should I taste that now? Or should I wait? Let me taste that now. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Somehow they reminded me of a chili dog right away there. <laughs> so I have that. Just the mustard. Just the hot sauce. Ted's. That mustard was delicious. And the hot dog had smoky flavor and a nice snap to the outside. And for the third, I'm going to put the mustard and the hot sauce on it. Which one do you want to try? They send them to you, too. <laughs> I'll try that one. Hmm? Mm hmm Don't eat it all. Uh, I won't. Okay, mustard. Mustard down the side here. Okay. And hot sauce on top. Mmm. Oh, I'm going to eat them all, but I'm just tasting the three for you and me. Here we go. That's a good one from Buffalo. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Like it, huh? Mm, that's good. Tiny sauce. Mm. You should try them both mixed. Look at that. Huh. The meat is so good, too. We're going to eat all of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, guys. This is a real treat. Mm-hmm. It's a picnic. Now it's 28 degrees. I'm inside, though. In case you didn't notice. Mm. A dangler. Thank you very much for this beautiful letter and the nice picture of Elliot. Thank you, Elliot. I'm glad you like my John Deere. Did you see me when I drove to get pizza <laughs> with the John Deere? I'll put a link there too. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to drive it again. Oh, I mowed the snow with it a couple weeks ago. Thanks, Jim, Katie, and of course, Elliot. I'll try to get that big basketball going again because I love it too. <laughs> Thanks for these. This is a good supper tonight. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. I wanted to share this with you. So I don't know if you ever had buffalo hot dogs with buffalo fixings on top. But I did. Thanks again. See ya. Got ya. Ah.